Today, we're gonna dig our heels into my spare tire setup and my rear cargo to show what I've done to carry all of my Overland Essentials. I wanna start with the spare tire carrier. The heart of this system is the American Adventure Lab spare tire platform. I'm normally very cautious of anything being stored on the spare tire because it begs the question, what happens if I get a flat? The best thing about the STP is that it doesn't mount to the tire, it mounts to the wheel. So even with it mounted to a flat, I'll be able to secure the STP to it. The STP is not Bronco specific. In fact, it's not specific to any vehicle, it's universal. So if you have a build that has a rear mounted tire, this should work. I believe it works with most tires between 33 and 40 inches, and as long as the weight is evenly distributed, the rack can hold up to 100 pounds. The main platform is 42 inches wide and 19 inches deep. A quick cost breakdown on this system, the platform is all aluminum, and if you order it bare, it costs $400. Adding textured black powder coat like I've done adds another $60. I've also added the accessory mounts. This is how I have my Max Tracks mounted clear of my rear camera. This adds $100 in bare aluminum or $125 in textured black powder coat like I have. And lastly, I have the provided ratchet straps. These add $30 to the overall platform price. So all in all, to get this identical spare tire platform from American Adventure Lab, it will run about $615. And that's before the Max Tracks, the pins, and the box on top. The mount is 100% aluminum and assembly is crazy easy. Brit at American Adventure Lab helped me assemble mine. And honestly, it was pretty darn straightforward. You should be able to do this in your garage or even your kitchen. Uh, there are a few tips to follow as you go. Make sure you have your Max Tracks pins ready and all of your tools handy. Be careful with an impact as it can strip or even shear the bolts. Before you start test fitting and securing the tire carrier to the Bronco, you will need to remove the brake light. Don't cut any wires here. You can unplug all the cables by removing the light from the swing arm and then opening the housing to find that plug inside of there. With the platform assembled, make sure to leave the fitment feet snug but loose enough to adjust so that you can test fit the system on the tire and then this will give you a chance to make those adjustments before tightening everything down. On the Bronco, I had to add an inch and a quarter spacer when I first installed it to prevent it from touching that rear wiper. I've since added a swing arm support and a 37 inch tire carrier, which spaces and erases the tire carrier and helps add some rigidity to the swing arm. Uh, this one is from Rough Country, but I have to say I'm really anticipating the launch of the RTR carrier. So this is likely just a temporary solution for me. But the good news is that I don't need the spacer anymore but this did add $215 to my total cost for this storage setup. So that is the spare tire platform. On top of the platform, I have a Rome Adventure Co. 95 liter rugged case in black. Uh, these run $370. This house is all of my recovery gear, a shovel and you know tire deflation tools and all that stuff. I need to really dig into organizing this box better. I will likely use more of the Step 22 Stingray HDs when they get back in stock because they fit so nicely and they don't rattle. They just really dampen a lot of the noise and they organize everything. So uh, I'm holding the box to the platform using the straps that came with my Dometic fridge slide. Uh, they work great. The box has slid around a little bit on the trails and rubbed away some of the powder coat. Uh, I'm not really concerned about that though because again, the platform is aluminum so it's not gonna rust. After the box, I have two sets of Max Trax Extremes at $500 a pair or in my case, $1,000 because I have four Max Trax Extremes and then the mounting pins for $60. But that's kind of it for the spare tire carrier. I know that is a lot of money for Max Tracks, but I don't currently have a winch, uh, nor do I know what I'm going to do up there or how to mount one yet. So this is really my only self recovery option. So that's what I have. Opening the swing gate, I have removed the rear seats and with the help of my dad built a platform. This is secured to the factory seat studs and holds my Dometic CFX 345 and Dometic fridge slide, both of which are permanent to the setup. I also have my Gold Zero Yeti 1500X and it is always in the back as well. This is connected directly to the Bronco's battery using the Yeti link system. To run the cable, it's pretty big for this. It was actually really easy. It runs under the DIY platform to the driver's side and then I ran it up inside of that plastic wire chase all the way to the firewall where Ford gives us a crazy easy to access grommet for accessories. With the cable through the firewall, I connect it to the battery and boom, it's done. I now charge the battery constantly at rates as high as 700 watts. It's 
fabulous. The fridge and battery occupy a good portion of the passenger side, leaving me a fair amount of room on the driver's side for a water jug, my Yeti loadout go box, which has all of my kitchen goodies in it, my portable toilet, my table, the Devos Light Ranger uh, with its stand, my chair, and then way up behind the driver's seat, I have my Ford Performance ARB compressor kit and my Step 22 Pangolin tool roll. It's quite a fair amount of kit to toss into a two-door Bronco, and I still have room for my duffel bag, uh, camera gear, my pillow, and dry food in some Step 22 Stingrays. There are very few changes I would make to this DIY setup. I honestly feel comfortable running multi-day trips with this, and I'm about to leave for a full week at King of the Hammers with this exact setup. So yeah, this really works. Uh, <laughs> You can overland in a two-door Bronco. You can carry a ton of gear and having a spare tire platform from American Adventure Lab seriously helps. Doing a seat delete also helps and keeping your gear as small as you can helps. Okay, I hope you like this video. To see the Bronco in action, check out this video right over here. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.